Thank you, Oscar. And uh, just to echo what was said earlier about Phoenix as a fight town, I couldn't agree more. This is a tremendous fight town. We were here in December for BAM against Sunny Unification. I think the Arizona Commission are exceptional, and it's a great honor to be here as, as a small part of this tremendous show on Saturday. Congratulations to Oscar and, and Bernard and Golden Boy, and of course, to Zone, who I believe now are established as the global home of boxing. You know, this Saturday we have a big fight card in Belfast in Northern Ireland, and then you'll be switching over, of course, to here in Phoenix, Arizona for a fight of the year contender, Jaime Munguia against John Ryder. And when you look at the schedule that DAZN are constantly delivering worldwide, unrivaled, second to none. And I feel like there's a real um, desire now from promoters to work together. You might have recently seen um, Matrim against Queensbury get announced for June. It's had huge effect of, of support and noise in the UK and I think it's only a matter of time before Golden Boy against Matram in, in an all card, all action card later on this year. And when you look at the history of Golden Boy against Matram, it started terribly for us. I mean, the first time I met Oscar, we had a guy called Paul McCloskey, he had Amir Khan. That didn't go too well with us. Then they had a, a, a not a bad fighter called Jorge Linares, who went on and beat Kevin Mitchell, Anthony Crawler and Luke Campbell. In fact, we were four nil down to Golden Boy, and I was, I was actually thinking about calling it a day. But then we bounced back. Devin Haney beat Jojo Diaz. Devin Haney beat Jorge Linares, and Dimitri Bivol beat Zerdo Ramirez. So I think we're four three. So this is a chance for us to go four four, and what a great fight this is. I think two guys that really have earned the respect of their respective divisions. Of course, Jaime Munguia now up at super middleweight, but John Ryder, whose career could have gone very differently. Split decision, controversial losses to Billy Joe Saunders and Callum Smith for the world title, and a tremendous performance in Guadalajara against Canelo Alvarez. This guy is all action. One of my favorite fighters to watch, Jaime Munguia. And Fernando Beltran knows what he's doing. He's got him to 42 and 0. But this, make no mistake, the toughest fight of his career on Saturday night. His two standout wins, Liam Smith, another Brit, a junior middleweight, Sergei Derevenchenko in a fight of the year, a faded middleweight. This time now he's in with a big super middleweight in John Ryder. And this is an all action fight. Jaime Munguia doesn't take a step back. John Ryder, so tough, ready to fight. And, and respect to you guys for taking this fight and Oscar. And when we got the phone call, and shout out to Eric Gomez as well, this was a fight that we wanted so much for John Ryder. But this is a fight that I feel we need for boxing. Two tremendous warriors will go toe-to-toe -to -toe on Saturday in Phoenix and give you a tremendous fight. So I'm looking forward to not working on Saturday night, being there as a fan and watching John Ryder be triumphant for, for Great Britain on Saturday in a tremendous fight. And thanks, everybody, for the opportunity. We'll see you for a great night of boxing on Saturday. Thank you. Thank you very much, Eddie. And um, we, you know, just because we're smoking the peace pipe doesn't mean we're going to spar, so. <laughs> uh, we're very, very happy, very thrilled to, uh, again, to be working with all these promoters. It needs to happen, and it's happening today for boxing, for the future of boxing. We strongly feel that this card on Saturday night will, will be the beginning of many, many great cards that all of promoters collectively put together. So again, I cannot emphasize this. Thank you very much to all the promoters here. John the Gorilla Rider impressed the world last May when he went the distance with Canelo Alvarez. He is a true fighter, tough as nails, and hits like a mule. I am sure he will bring the same tenacity Saturday night. I welcome to the podium John Ryder. Firstly, thank you to Eddie and Matt Trum and Oscar and, and Golden Boy and, and Zanfa for, for making this happen. It's been a fight long in the pipeline and um, I'm glad we're finally here now. Fight week, press conference, way in tomorrow and fight night comes Saturday. So um, it's a fight I've I feel I've needed now since the, the Canelo defeat and um, to continue operating at a level I've been operating at, this is, this is the fight to, to kick me on and push me on in my career. So thank you.
Thank you very much. Before we uh, call up the main event fighter, I would like to call up to the podium a man who has been trainer of the year multiple, multiple times. He uh, has the experience, he has, he has what it takes to, to push a fighter to another level. You know, if there's a fighter who is losing a few rounds, he will push them to come out stronger. He has the wisdom to take the best out of a fighter and make him a champion. So it is my honor, he was my trainer, and that is Freddie Roach. Freddie. Um, we've had a great training camp. Uh, my fighter's in great shape. He's been working hard every day from day one. Um, I haven't given him a day off, and he hasn't taken a day off. He's worked very hard for this fight. We know we're in a tough fight, but uh, we're going to do everything we can to win this fight. Thank you very much. Now for the main attraction. Estamos, estamos muy contentos. Muy agradecidos, Jaime, Fernando, por el convenio. Este, la verdad que estamos eh, muy emocionados porque Munguía es un peleador que tiene mucha disciplina, quiere ser campeón mundial muchas veces en diferentes categorías, tiene la hambre para ser uno de los grandes, no solamente de México, pero todo el mundo, así que me da un placer de estar trabajando con él y su equipo y su familia. Uh, now for our main attraction, former world champion, Jaime Munguia is poised to become the next face of Mexican boxing. He is entering the ring after giving fans fight of the year against Devo Rachenko. Jaime is ready to start 2004 with a bang, 2024 with a bang this Saturday. Everyone will see if he can do what Canelo could not do, which is knock out John Ryder. Let me introduce to you Jaime Munguia from Tijuana, Mexico. Vamos, Canelo. ¿Qué tal? Buenas tardes a todos. Eh, pues muchas gracias. Ana. Este, bueno, primero que nada, pues agradecer a todos los que están aquí. Este, a todos los que hicieron posible este evento, Golden Boy, Eric Hearn, eh, Fernando Beltrán, el promotor, este, agradecer también a, a Freddy, al equipo de Wildcard por su apoyo durante todo mi campamento. La verdad que eh, pues, eh, tuvimos un campamento eh, muy, muy bueno, eh, lo considero sin duda el mejor. Creo que cada vez vamos avanzando, vamos aprendiendo, evolucionando, la verdad de pues es, es, es la meta que siempre tengo en mí, ¿no? siempre eh, empujarme a mí mismo, siempre seguir trabajando más fuerte, aprendiendo, conocer mi cuerpo y, y pues llegar cada vez mejor a, a todos mis compromisos. Este, pues sé que ahorita tenemos eh, un compromiso fuerte ante John Ryder este sábado, que es un gran peleador, como lo dijo Eric Hearn, ha tenido grandes combates con, con grandes peleadores, eh, sin duda, eh, resultados eh, muy cerrados con un poquito la victoria inclinada hacia él, pero la verdad eh, vengo muy motivado, confío en el trabajo que hice, sé que vamos a salir con la mano en alto y arriba México y arriba Tijuana. Muchas gracias a todos por estar aquí. Good afternoon to all, first of all, and again, thank you, Oscar de la Hoya, Fernando Beltrán, Freddy Hearn. First of all, I want to thank everybody to be here. Thanks to Freddy Roach, Wildcard, Boxing Club, this was a great camp for all of us. It's gonna help me keep moving forward to achieve my goals. And thank you also, I know that my, my competitor writer is a tough fighter. He has lost, he has won close fights, but I'm ready. I'm ready to do this on Saturday. Y que viva México. Thank you very much, gracias. Uh, in closing, uh, primeramente, Phoenix, Arizona, vengan a la pelea, vengan a apoyar. Es una gran pelea. Eh, una, una, va a ser una gran noche de boxeo eh, con el Picasso, con Jaime Munguía, eh, muchos mexicanos, así que muchas gracias por todo el apoyo. Uh, in closing, I just want to say once again, um, any promoter who is watching 
out there. We have four of the top promoters in the world here today working together, working on the zone, bringing you the best fights possible. I urge you, Bob Arum, I've talked to him. He's willing, he's ready. We're ready to bring on the best fights in 2024 only on the zone. Thank you very much. Gracias, Phoenix. Gracias. All right, so thank you, Oscar. As always, you heard from the fighters. Now we'll do a Q&A a little bit with the, the zone fighters. So uh, the go YouTube and the Facebook will get going at 3 o'clock uh, local time. And right now, I want a couple questions for the fighters on the zone. So you'll be able to check out the zone uh, this Saturday live from Phoenix, Arizona. So right now, Gabriela Fundora, sweet poison. Gabriela, you have your microphone with you? Get her a microphone. The reason we want to talk to Gabriela, you saw her put on a show in her last fight where she won a title. Gabriela, you recently signed with Golden Boy, working, of course, with Samson. You've been talking about it. You're the fighting family, your brother, your dad. Everybody in the Fundora clan is out there fighting. What makes you driven? What makes you want to be a champion many times over? Well, again, I want to thank Samson and Golden Boy, you know. Um, pr proud to, to work with you guys, and we're going to make big steps and moving on in the future. Um, yeah, just stay focused. Boxing is a, is a way of life. It's, it's not just something, there's no such thing as camps in, in my gym. There, there's it's life. So or it's, I've been driven since I was six years old. So there, there's nothing new. This, just keep moving forward and, and we're going to keep, keep making big steps. Gabriela Fundora will be the second fight on the zone, defending her IBF flyweight title against undefeated Christina Cruz from Fort Lauderdale, Florida. The pride of Prairie View A&M alumni from Houston, Texas, DFG, Brickhouse Boxing, Darius Fulgham. You would heard him talking about how he's kind of underrated, how he isn't around much, right? You haven't talked about him because this young man was going for the Olympics. Did not happen in uh, 2020. Decided to turn pro, got his nursing degree. Now he's full on boxing. He fought six times last year, nine and zero, oh, nine KOs. And Darius, when you turned pro a couple years ago, you were in Mexico. You had no idea where you were at. Now you're here, Golden Boy Prospect of the Year on the zone. How crazy time flies for you, doesn't it, young man? Absolutely, and I don't think we really take for granted how quickly a life can really change, you know. Uh, Golden Boys gave me an opportunity that's changed my life, uh, that brought me in a better position to, to provide for myself and for people that I care about. And I can't stress enough how thankful I am for that, you know, because I've, I've been through the highs and lows of this sport, you know. And I could easily at one point just went ahead and left all this behind me and just got a job and, and filled my career in nursing. But... This is my life, this is my passion, and I'm just blessed I get to do this and perform on big stages like this. 9-0, nine, oh, nine KOs. Some people are saying Alantis Fox, the professor, might be too much for you. That's a, but these are the kind of fights that you want, isn't it? Absolutely. Like, DFG, I'm destined to be great. I want to be great. And the only, only way to be great is by taking uh, great fights. And Alantis Fox is a great fighter in himself, and it's a good way to prove where I'm at and where I belong in the sport. That'll be the... Super middleweight bout on DAZN, the third fight of the night. 9-0, nine, oh, 9 KOs, DFG against Alantis Fox from Maryland, who has 34 fights under his belt. That would be a real good one, the super middleweight division. All right, all opening up the broadcast from Mexico City, undefeated El Rey David Picasso in the IBF flyweight uh, title is on the line. Actually, no, I'm sorry, uh, super bantamweight against Eric Ruiz. David you're finally fighting in the United States. You've been wanting this opportunity. What kind of fighter are you? No. Oh. Eh, bueno, es mi, la primera vez que yo peleo aquí en Estados Unidos, pero como dije hace un momento, el ring es mi verdadera casa. Yo estoy acostumbrado a pelear con quien sea, con el que sea, sparring en campamentos, en todos lados, con, con campeones mundiales, con todo el mundo con el que me suban a hacer sparring, yo he ido a, a reclusorios, a centros penitenciarios, a donde me pongan a hacer sparring y a pelear, yo puedo pelear. Eh, soy un peleador aguerrido, fuerte, sé que voy a salir y que voy a dar grandes cosas para Phoenix, estoy muy contento de estar aquí y sin duda creo que voy a ser el mejor peleador esta noche. Like I said earlier, my house is the ring and this Saturday I'm going to show what I'm made of. I'm used to fighting anywhere and everywhere. I've even been to jails to fight sparrings, 
world champion, former world champion, I'm ready to do this. And this Saturday, Phoenix, be ready because I'm coming. Uh, Ray David Picasso, who wants to go to space, wants to be an astronaut, also win a Nobel Peace Prize. I'm not making that up it's for real. Uh, that'll be the opening bout on the zone against the veteran Eric Ruiz. Desde Villalba, Puerto Rico, Oscar El Pupillo Collazo. I was there when he won his world title. The entire island was celebrating. I think they're still celebrating, Oscar. For people who are going to see you the first time, they know that, hey, this young man comes to brawl, 8 and 0, 6 KOs. What drives you? I think uh, my family, you know, my, uh, see the, the, the love and the support they, 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 they show me when I win, you know, that the, the face that they make, uh, the sacrifice of my team, uh, my own sacrifices, you know, there's a lot of people that uh, sacrifice in, like, like nobody know. Everybody go through sacrifices, but we don't show it. And I think all, all, all of that drives me, you know, and I think uh, uh, is, this is a big opportunity for me to show people my talent, and I think I'm going to get it. The WBO minimum weight title is on the line. Puerto Rico contra Nicaragua. That'll be the co-feature live on The Zone. These young men, they go out there and they throw a bunch of punches. That'll be a fun one. And the main event, Islington, UK. John Ryder with a record of 32 and 6. Uh, John, I talked to you at our media workout. You said you knew that this fight was eventually going to happen. It might have happened a couple of years ago. Eventually, you, this was going to happen. Why did you want to fight Jaime Munguia? I always thought it was a step in the right direction. And um, after the Canelo defeat, and it's, a, it's a fight that I need more than ever to, to keep me at this level and keep me operating and keep my, my world title dreams and aspirations alive. John, when uh, they offered the fight, did you, how quick did you jump at it? I think the, the response was pretty prompt to Eddie and uh, let's do it. Um, training camp over Christmas and whatnot didn't matter. That, that was put to the side and uh, we'll celebrate after the fight. And Jaime, for you, uh, when they offered you John Ryder, how fast did you want to sign that contract? Jaime, para ti, cuando escuchaste el nombre de John Ryder, ¿qué tan rápido firmaste ese contrato? No, la verdad, este, pues muy rápido, al, al instante. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Instantly, fast. <laughs> No, la verdad, pues, eh, obviamente queríamos eh, una gran pelea ante, ante John Ryder. Sabemos que es un gran peleador y, y la verdad, eh, pues, estamos muy motivados, ¿no? De, de tener una pelea con él y, y, y pues, demostrar lo que, lo que es Jaime Munguía. Entonces, eh, como te digo, lo firmamos al instante. We wanted a big challenge and we know John Ryder is a big challenge. And like I said, Jaime Munguía is ready and we sign as fast as we could. And John, for you, your last fight, it was everybody against you in Guadalajara. Here, it seems like it's going to be Phoenix against you. That blue-collar attitude, you don't care where you're at. You just want to fight, don't you? No, I just want to fight the best fights possible. And uh, obviously, last year in Guadalajara was the same. I didn't expect any different this year. So um, I'm just in there to fight the best. Any chance they're overlooking you? Uh, potentially, but it's, uh, it's at, at their cost. It's a silly move to make. Silly move to make. You, Jaime, <laughs> for you, Everything has to go right this year. How dangerous a fight is this? Jaime, para ti, todo tiene que ser perfecto este año. ¿Qué tan peligrosa es esta pelea? Eh, bueno, yo creo que pues, todas las peleas son peligrosas. Siempre hay que tener bastante cuidado. Obviamente, como siempre le he dicho, ¿no? John Ryder es un peleador eh, pues, bastante fuerte, con gran experiencia. Este, hay que tener mucho cuidado, pero este, como te digo, vengo confiado en, en mi trabajo, confiado en lo que hicimos en el gimnasio. Entonces, Yeah, but all right, all right, we guys. had to get some answers for you. Thanks to all the members of the media that showed up. Now, let's get the fighters to face off. We will have them for you. The fight is on Saturday, live on the zone. You want to check that out. Jaime Munguia, John Ryder in the super middleweight division. A uh, silver super middleweight belt will be on the line for the WBC. Let's get the fighters to stand up. Thanks to members of the media. Thanks to all the promoters. Uh, Matchroom Boxing, Samson. Zanfed Promotions as we have that for you live on Saturday. So it'll be Jaime and John Ryder to face off right now. Yep.
from the Footprint Center in Phoenix, Arizona, Saturday. Ticketmaster.com, a few tickets are available. Jaime Munguia, John Ryder, the 27th, live on DAZN. Chris Mannix will be on the broadcast. Sergio Mora will be there. Todd Grisham is showing up. Of course, doors open. So go get your tickets at Ticketmaster.com. Tomorrow, the way in is open to the public. Doors are going to get going at noon. The weigh-in, 1 o'clock, it'll be streamed live on YouTube and also on the Zone. So you'll see that on Friday afternoon from Phoenix, Arizona. Jaime Munguia, 42-0. and 0. That young man puts his perfect record on the line against John Ryder, the gorilla John Ryder, as Munguia gets some motivational words from Bernard Hopkins. Former champion himself, the Hall of Famer. So that's been a good afternoon here. As always, thanks to everybody who joined us. Saturday night, live on the zone. You'll see Jaime Munguia kick off 2024 against the always tough John Ryder. There's talks of Munguia having a big 2024. He's got to get through Saturday. So again, press conference is done. Tomorrow, the weigh-in. That'll be streamed live for Oscar DeLoya and everybody at Golden Boy Promotions. I'm your host, Bethel Duran. 